Hey friends, it's Miss Emily. I'm gonna show you two ways that you can practice counting syllables at home with your family. A syllable is a small part or a chunk of a word, and it's really important for reading. So let me show you my hopscotch game first. On the floor, I have the numbers one through five written down. I also wrote down a bunch of words in this hat, and I'm gonna pick one. Let's see. My first word is hippopotamus. Okay, let's do it together. Hippopotamus. There are five syllables in the word hippopotamus. Let's do another one. Helicopter. Okay, here I go. Ha la cop. Ooh, I missed the number, but that's okay. Helicopter. Four syllables. All right, another fun way to practice counting syllables is with buckets and bowls. You can line them up vertically or horizontally, whichever you prefer. All right, let's see. My word is shoe. I have a bean bag here and I'm gonna try and throw the bean bag into the correct bucket. But first I have to figure out how many syllables are in the word shoe. Since I only have one hand because I'm holding the camera with my phone, I'm gonna tap on my thigh. Shoe, only one syllable. Got it. Okay, let's do another one. You know what that says? Candy. So I grab my bean bag. Let's see. How many syllables are in the word candy? Can D. <gasps> Two. Let's see if I can make it. Do you think? All right, I did it. I want to do one more with you. Dinosaur. All right, let's tap it out. Dinosaur. Three syllables. Okay, wish me luck. Oh, I missed. Let's try it one more time. Three syllables. Dinosaur. I made it. All right, friends. I hope you have a fun time practicing syllables with your family. See you later.